So today we're gonna to take you through the process of creating a short video. It might not seem like a lot because some of the videos are, you know, 15, 20, 30 seconds, a minute max. But, excuse me, pudding. <laughs> there is a whole process to creating them. So we're gonna take you through all the steps today. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write a little script. <laughs> do you wanna help me, pudding? <laughs> So I usually just write down um, what each cat is going to say. Putting, do you want to use the pen? Do you want to do it? <laughs> Sometimes it's a little bit hard because uh, Pudding tends to get in the way. Now he's, okay, I thought he was going to sit on my paper. So we've got our a uh, little script done. What do you think, Pudding? Is anything missing? <laughs> no? So the next thing that we're gonna do is um, get any costumes and stuff ready and props that uh, we might need to make the video. So here is our costume drawer. We've got lots of stuff in here. Uh, I've chosen um, this little shirt here for Pudding. This guy, Pudding? So we're gonna get him into it. <laughs> okay, you ready? There you go. Let me get, can I give you a kiss? Thank you. Yeah, you got my chain now, eh? Yeah, we're gonna fix the collar. <laughs> mm -hmm. You got me stuck to you here, that's what you want? Yeah, no, don't eat it though. Mm -hmm. You look so cute. Pudding, you look adorable. Mm? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> We're going to go and bring the tripod over that way. You coming with me? It's treat time. Yes. <laughs> look at your cuteness. Mm? Yes. Hey, you're so cute. Mm? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> So usually what I do is I will film them each separately. Uh, so I'll have, I'll do all of pudding shots and then I'll do all of Oreo shots and then I'll edit them all together to make it look like they're actually sitting together um, in the same spot, but they're not actually sitting together in the same spot. So um, that's the magic of editing. So we're gonna start off with pudding. So essentially what we wanna do is have pudding sit in one spot so that he's in the frame of the camera. We're gonna feed him a treat to make it look like he's talking. And we're just gonna film him as long as we can doing this, moving his mouth. When he wants more treat, we will give him more treat. Uh, sometimes we'll move the camera uh, closer and further away to get um, close-ups and, and things like that. Good boy. So sometimes this, we could film like, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes of him just doing this. And then we'll pick the, the best clips and uh, edit them into the video. Great work, Pudding. Great work, excellent. You're so good. Good job. All right, so we've also got a bathroom shot of him, of Pudding. Oreo's in here too, but that's okay. Okay, Pudding, we gotta get him on the toilet bowl. <laughs> Good work. Good work, buddy. Hmm? Here. Good job, my boy. Hmm? Here you go. Hey, good work. Excellent. So we're done with pudding. Uh, so we can take your shirt off now if you want, eh? Hey? Hmm? There you go. There you go. Thank you, pudding. 
That's it. Mm -hmm. Thanks, pudding. <laughs> So for Oreo, we're gonna set it up a little bit differently. He needs to be using the iPad. So we're gonna have him sitting behind the iPads. Whoops. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he's coming, he's coming. Are you stuck? <laughs> Oreo, he's stuck to the blanket. You okay there, buddy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so when dealing with Oreo, we also have to deal with sass. <laughs> But essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna get him to do the same thing as pudding, which is sit uh, behind the cat, behind the iPad, behind the camera. And we're gonna keep giving him treats uh, to get him to move his mouth. Here you go, buddy. And we're just gonna film as much as we can of him like talking like that. Good job, Oreo. Oreo's really good at this. Um, he's the best out of all of them. Um, I think maybe because maybe because he's done it so many times, but um, it doesn't take long for Oreo. Um, he's really, really, really good at it. So we're gonna get like a different, a uh, few different shots, just like with putting some close-ups and things. I thought so. <laughs> Thank you, uh, uh, Siri. You're welcome. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, Oreo. <laughs> He's talking to Siri. <laughs> so the other thing that we're going to do is we're also going to film his paws a little bit. Um, he tends to do some movement. Oh, some sass with his paws as well. So we're going to get him to, um, to do a little bit of movement with his paws also. So right now I'm just making like little motions with my fingers because it makes him move his paws as you can see. And that's what we want him to do. Okay, and the final thing that we need is we want him to look, well, he's looking at the internet on the iPad. So we're gonna need a shot of like what he's looking at on the iPad. I just wanna get one last shot of him, kind of like, as though he's sort of looking down um, at the screen from the other side and maybe like typing. I know you want more, eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so to get him to do that, I'm just, as you can see, I just have the treat down um, like that and it makes it look like he's like doing something and then I'm gonna pull the treat away and he's gonna look up. So there you go. <laughs> that's it <laughs> so I think we're pretty much done with the shots um, now it's it's gonna be my turn so we're gonna take the script and we're gonna bring it into another app um, I'm gonna read off each line and I'm gonna use a voice changer to make their voices so the voice changer is inside of TikTok um, I usually just grab like a 60 second uh, time amount and then we're going to click on the arrow down here and there's a little, a little voice button. So we're going to click the voice button and it brings up a bunch of different uh, voices that you can use. You can use this can effect. Use. You can use this. If you can use my voice. You can use my <laughs> voice and your... You can use my voice. You can use my voice and... You can use this effect. You can use this effect to check. You can use this effect. You can use this. You can use this. You can use this effect. You can use this effect to change your voice. So this is the one I always use for Oreo. It is called Townie. So essentially I'm gonna record myself saying the script and we're going to create both Pudding and Oreo's voices. I have a better idea. What if I teleport you to wherever you wanna go? 
Well, it's on the internet, so it must be true. One, two, three. I may need to work out the kinks a little bit. I have a better idea. What if I teleport you to wherever you want to go? <laughs> well, it's on the internet, so it must be true. So what we do next is um, I'm going to save the video privately. Um, so that we can download the voice. Okay, so the next step is that I'm going to transfer all the videos that we took to my iPad to edit them because I just find it easier to edit on a larger device. All right, so now we've got our videos on my iPad and we are ready to uh, edit them. So I use InShot for editing. So I'm going to bring in all, all of the pieces that I need. So essentially what we want to do here is kind of try to line up um, the mouth movements with the voice. So I need to go and get my voice clips. Let's go to the park. 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 So it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, it's never going to be perfect. But the idea is just to be able to make it look, give that look that they are talking. So there might be a syllable too many or a syllable too little, but as long as we have, you know, something that looks decent, we're good. Let's go to the park. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. I have a better idea. Let's go to the park. I have a better idea. And then it's just really um, fiddling with the sounds and getting them to line up properly. So we've got our video pieces here, and then you can see the sound file on top. So we're just gonna clip them and uh, we're gonna try to make them match up as much as possible with the video. So this could take a little while. So another fun thing um, is adding effects. So we've got like a little sound effect in here as well as an effect to make um, putting a peer from one place to the other. So it ends up looking like this. My thought is <laughs> I would smell better. So I'm pretty much done the video now. Um, so the last thing that we need to do is add captions as well as choose music in the different applications that we're going to post it in. So we finished doing all of the captioning. Um, everything is said and done. So now we're just going to export the video and upload it to our different platforms and add whichever music that we'd like. So here we are inside of the Facebook editor. Um, so we're going to choose Let's our video. Uh, we can add some audio if we want to. We've got an audio library. Once we are done with that, we click on next and we can post our video. So once I've posted on uh, Facebook, then I usually post to YouTube. So YouTube as well has its own video editor. So here we are inside of the YouTube editor. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna choose our video and uh, we can choose music from within the YouTube library as well.
So we can add a sound here. This brings up the music library. And essentially that's it. So we're just gonna keep doing these steps over and over for each platform we wanna post the video on. So I hope that gives you a little bit more insight um, as to how the videos are made and how much work it does involve. It's fun, it's a fun process. But a short video can take uh, many hours. The link to the finished video will be in the caption. So please go check it out. Thank you so much and see you next time.